Assalamu alaikum guys, welcome back to Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Guys, today's topic is very important in civil engineering, especially for those students which are working on construction site. As you know guys, on construction site, we find workability of concrete with the help of slum cone test. So do you know how to calculate its material for slum cone test? As you know, we use cement, sand and aggregate to check workability of concrete with the help of slum cone right so this is the topic for today so let's start guys if this video is helpful for you so must like this video and subscribe the channel with press bell icon and learn material calculation of slum cone test let's start guys as you know guys first of all you can see this is slum cone okay like this the dia of upper portion of slum cone is 10 centimeter right and the bottom dia is 20 centimeter okay and its height of the cone is 30 centimeter okay so first of all we will find volume of this cone okay then we will find different materials calculation okay so guys first of all we will find area first area one this is called area one and this is called area two okay and how we can find area okay the area formula is so this is easy guys area one you can find d square divided by sorry pi divided by four into d square okay so this is formula by which you can find area one and area two also pi divided by 4 into d square right so as you know 3.142 divided by 4 into area 1 dia is 10 centimeters so 0 0.1 meter square okay same here 3.142 divided by 4 into second dia 0 0.2 meter square okay so now guys i will write here the formula to find okay volume of volume of cone slum cone okay that is guys volume of cone the formula is is you know h by 3 right into a1 plus a2 n2 plus under root a1 plus a2 okay so this is the formula so how to find its volume so guys when you do calculation because i'm not using calculator here uh, it will waste my time and also your time so you can find the volume of uh, okay a truncated cone that is volume is equal 5.495 into 10 minus 3 meter cube so this is the volume of this cone okay slum cone now guys you can see now we will convert it to the dry volume because it's shrink okay when we use water for example if this is the volume of material so when we add water okay plus water when we add okay so it become like this so therefore we will convert it to the dry volume right so in dry volume in many cases i have already discussed especially in quantity survey so uh, dry volume dry volume okay uh, add uh, dry volume of uh, cone 
okay which will become 54 percent okay 54 percent so it will increase so increase to dry volume of cone increase to dry volume of cone so 54 percent so now guys we will get so when we uh, convert this volume to the dry material so the formula become here like uh, dry volume yes increase uh, by adding 54 percent so it will come guys uh, uh, i've already discussed i don't have calculator so 5.495 into 10 minus 3 okay uh, plus 0.54 into 5.495 5 into 10 minus 3 so this then we will get dry volume okay so dry volume will become guys 8.462 into 10 minus 3 meter cube so guys this is now dry volume okay now guys we need to find volume of cement then volume of sand okay fine aggregate then we will find what crush okay so now guys let me erase these now we need to find volume of cement okay so volume of cement so now guys we need proportion proportion of concrete by which we find slum test so we have proportion that is one ratio one ratio two one is cement one is uh, pine aggregate okay and the other one you know uh, we have the other one crush aggregate right so now i need to find cement so the cement volume is so volume of cement become okay and sum of ratio is one plus one plus two so it become four okay so guys uh, here you can see now we have one divided by four one is here proportion of what or you can write same like this okay that is uh, we have the dry volume that is 8 point 8.462 divided by 4 sum of ratio and one is nothing one is here proportion of cement then you will get volume of cement it become volume of cement about 2.115 n to 10 minus 3 so this is volume of cement meter cube okay this is volume of cement now convert it to kg how many kg of cement is required for slum test especially for this slum cone okay so now density of cement as you know guys density of cement is 14 40 kg per meter cube okay so now uh, quantity of cement become 1440 multiply what 2.115 into 10 minus 3 so guys we required here we required 3.045 kg cement okay so this is the amount of cement right now guys we required we required here again uh, yes i will write here okay because this is the dry volume therefore i should not erase this okay now volume of fine aggregate right mean sand 
so here guys you can see uh, the total dry volume is 8.462 divided by 4 and 2 is nothing but this is the proportion of cement okay 1 sorry so again right so we will get the volume which is same like this one 2.115 2.115 and 10 3 minus 3 meter cube okay so this is the volume of sand okay as you know guys we have uh, now a density of sand our fine aggregate that is 1600 kg per meter cube okay so now uh, now we need uh, quantity of sand our fine aggregate okay so which become 1600 into 2.115 into 10 minus 3 okay so we required here fine uh, aggregate we required 3.38 3.384 kgs sand are required right so now guys again we required fine crush or aggregate okay volume of fine crush okay so we have guys what total volume which is this one 8 point dry volume 8.4 six two divided by two sorry divided by four and to two two is nothing but this is the ratio of crush okay or uh, fine crush so now we will get the volume of crush that become uh, four point two three into ten minus three meter cube okay now guys density of density of uh, fine crush is 1800 kgs per meter cube okay so now 1800 multiply 4.23 into 10 minus 3 this one volume okay then we require this is quantity of crush or fine crush okay so guys we required 7. Point 61 kgs right so guys uh, this is uh, the material calculation of slum cone test especially for cement sand and crush now guys we required water content okay so how we will find water content again guys uh, let me erase this water content we required okay as you know guys water ratio is is equal 0 0.48 so this is the formula okay so let me uh, find uh, water ratio so uh, w is equal uh, 0, point, 0 0.48 into c okay so guys here uh, water required 0 0.48 multiply now we need quantity of cement the quantity of cement and kg okay that is i had already that was uh, the cement i've already erased so that was two point okay quantity of cement and kg 2.11 uh, sorry this is not uh, we have 3.05 kg okay that is 3.05 kg 3.05 5 kg so this is sand okay so now we will get w when you do calculation for this you will get 1462 ml okay are 1.46 liters of water required for this slum test if the proportion is 112 so guys this is the method by which you can find a material calculation with the help of slum cone test okay so guys if you have any question related with this topic so you can comments i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye